Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody is well. Scorpio, you have been selected by the universe to receive your reading next. So we're going to throw them down and do it for you. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to review, choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can't be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the first iron tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. All right, a few quick things we got to go over before I throw them down for Scorpio. One, I don't sugarcoat nothing. Okay? If it's bad news, it's bad news. If it's good news, it's good news. It is all for the greater good of the soul. So, just so we are aware. Two, do not make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if it's my cards or anybody else's. And three, if the cards on the table are not your message, leave them on the table and walk away. It's general. It's not going to resonate with every Scorpio every time. While you're here, if you think we're going to get along, you can hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That'd be super awesome of you. You can hit the like button. It all helps the channel, and it is all greatly appreciated. So without further ado... Three more quick shuffles for Scorpio. We're going to get into it. One. Two. Three. A little too far. Heavenly Father, Mother, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me clearly and accurately bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Scorpio, why are you here? Seven of Swords reversed. Ooh. We've gone from Lion Larry to Honest Eddie. There's truths coming out. Okay. Finally, somebody's speaking truth to you. Or are you coming clean about something? King of Swords reversed in the past. There was oh wow, that's that's a sharp tongue. That's a sharp tongue. Justice in the present. Honesty and justice. Playing fields leveling out. Could be a legal matter for some of you. High Priestess, the immediate future, Nine of Swords reversed as an outcome. I like it. Coming out of a state of anxiety and fear. Very nice. We're going to set this over here. Put this. I'm trying to figure out where I can set this where it's visible. Probably right there. Okay. Um, First card out was air. So we will get the energy of the person that you are dealing with. With the Everyday Witch. Everyday Witch is getting a workout this time around, let me tell you. I'm sorry about the creaky day bed. I gotta tighten some stuff up on it. There's a lot of things I gotta do around here. But I needed to take a day to read some cards. So, Universe Source Spirit Guides, gotta get the energy of the person or situation that Scorpio is dealing with. Good shuffle. Hmm, double at the bottom. Could be a Capricorn. Huh. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords reversed. 
Oh, well, well. Clarity plays universe. Clarity for Scorpio and the person they're dealing with. Why is the King of Swords reversed too? That feels so snarly. Oh my goodness. This feels very sex based all of a sudden. Four of Cups, yeah. This definitely feels like you just wanted to be independent. I think this was just like a seasonal thing for you. Why did you get so shitty about it, though? I mean, put yourself where you see fit, but from what I'm reading here, you were good being on your own and just being single and having fun. Possibly because you may have been jaded in the past with this Four of Cups. You didn't want the cup of emotion that was being handed to you. Maybe you didn't want to put the effort or the work into it. You were good being on your own. You were good and stable on your own. Okay. You didn't want to put the effort in. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here reversed for them? Knight of Cups. They tried to hand you a cup. They wanted more. Death reversed. Things weren't going to change or metamorphosize. They stopped putting in effort. Queen of Cups reversed, became emotionally withdrawn. And Three of Pentacles reversed, it all just kind of fell apart. Fast forward, why is Justice here? Ace of Cups, well shit, that just kind of flew out, didn't it? Page of Swords reversed. Was she going to say anything? You want to hand him the cup, but you're not saying anything? Why aren't you saying anything? Hi, Priestess. Oh, geez. You feel pulled to them. It's being illuminated. This The connection, it's finally hitting you. But you're not saying anything. You're keeping it quiet. Page of Swords reversed. 
I don't think you want to see it. I don't think you want to deal with it. I think you want to accept it. But you feel the pull. High Priestess, you feel the pull. There's some like 5D shit going on here. King of Swords reversed. You still have a negative attitude about it though. Probably because you've been jaded in the past. Why is Queen of Cups here for them? Strength reversed. Love is draining. Yes, it is. Two of Cups. They feel it too. They still have a great deal of emotion for you. But that, where'd it go? Okay, I heard it fall. I saw it fall. I felt it fall. There it is. Four of Wands! Oh, yeah. They feel it. They know it. But, Hermit Reversed, also keeping it quiet, really. Really? Really? It's a struggle to hold back. It's like holding it inside is draining. Y'all feel the connection. And one more. Five of Pentacles reversed. You, they miss you. They miss you. What? Okay, why is the High Priestess... Why is the High Priestess here? Empress reversed. Four of Pentacles. Shadow side. Okay, in the immediate future, you're going to let go and release all the things you've been holding on to that didn't grow in the past. You're still holding on to it. It's toxic. You're releasing it. Two of Swords. Five of Wands reverse, Star reverse. You've spent so long trying not to engage with this, trying to avoid the conflict with it, that you forgot to do the healing. The healing is necessary to move forward. Why is the Ten of Swords here for them? Six of Cups reversed. It's less salt in the sugar. A lot of salty feelings and pain here. Six of Swords reversed. Magician reversed. Unable to manifest. Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's that intuitive knowing that there's so much negative energy here. Something needs to end. An ending is being put off. It can't manifest. You cannot manifest the new until you shed the old.
they want to, but for whatever reason they can't. Oh, wow, that's a lot of cards. The Fool showed itself to me. We'll keep the Fool. They want to jump back in and start that new path, but... Yeah, six of Wands. They're afraid it's not going to be successful. Three upside down sixes. Until you get through the conflict, until you get through the contrast and the changes of the five, you can't move to the six. The ending has to happen before the new beginning can happen. So, let's see what the outcome is. Nine of Swords reversed. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Coming out of that state of anxiety. Coming out of that state of anxiety, what if I repeat the same cycle again? Finally, you come into your power. You come into that knowing what you want and knowing what you don't want. Okay. It's my personal. Knowing what you want, knowing what you don't want. Queen of Wands. Going about it honest. Coming out of that state of anxiety, being ready. Being ready. Lovers! It can come together. It can come together, but you got to do the healing first. You have to come out of your head about it. It's going to happen. But only you're in control of your own timeline. So until you change your attitude, you can't change the outcome. Power. It's all about change. It's all about change. Have to let the change come. Why is, why is the Queen of Swords reversed here? Why the Queen of Swords reversed? Ten of Swords reversed. Oh! Do you have to let it linger? It lingered. It lingered. This is what happens. When negative energy lingers, oh gosh, Queen of Swords reversed, Page of Cups reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, King of Wands reversed, no forward movement, are you kidding me? Scorpio! Mm. King of Pentacles. That's slightly cocky. They might come across with this too little, too late attitude. And you should have caught the catch when the catch was good. Can I get a binder on the outcome, please? Thank you. Three swords. Oof. Oof. Why the three swords? Head of Wands. Don't stay stuck in it. Somebody stayed stuck back here. Or even like back here. Back before this story even began. That's why I never moved forward. Somebody stayed stuck. Gotta move forward. Gotta move forward. Two of Pentacles. 
Temperature reversed. Nine of Cups. Those nine cups are within. Your nine cups have to be full inside of you before the tenth one can come along. You've got a lot of negative energy hanging out. You don't find your tenth cup. Towers fall. It doesn't have to be a catastrophe. Sometimes the universe moves things out of our lives and moves things out of our way so we progress down the paths that we're supposed to go. To equal give and take. To joy. To connections. Sometimes when we fight endings, we're fighting new beginnings as well. But you can't let that toxic energy hang out. You gotta separate from it. Do your inner work. Embrace change. Because with change comes new. Cycles have to end before they can begin. You have to end the old before you can begin the new. And you don't move forward. And you can't release your burdens. And start new. Gotta move forward. Gotta move forward. Alright, that's what I got for you, Scorpio. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I'll catch you next time.